Don't you see? And I've had such an obsession over just those pictures alone. It just looks like an overgrown house sparrow. It looks like... It looks like an over... Let's see, it looks like... It looks like a gigantic house sparrow. I mean, just think about it. I mean, this red-tailed hawk couldn't be the predator that you see right here. It couldn't be. Could it? I just think it's very cool that they are opportunistic eaters just like crows. You probably wouldn't think that they would eat bread, but they do. And actually, they eat house sparrows, which also eat bread. So once they eat the house sparrow, they also eat the stomach and the intestines, which do have bread inside them. Or if they eat a starling or a crow or a pigeon... They've all eaten bread too. So yeah, if, they, if this red-tailed hawk is eating everything of the bird except for the feathers, then it's eating all the major um, food groups. Because it's eating berries, it's eating seeds, all of it. The red-tailed hawk leaves nothing behind except feathers. So that proves a lot, right? The red-tailed hawk eats table scrap eating birds. Isn't that a surprise? Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to train a red-tailed hawk to hunt. I'm not going to train it to eat bread. Because that's just foolish. You know... I kind of wish that I was a red-tailed hawk. I mean, being able to eat prey is probably no easy task, let alone hunting for it. They have the digestive system to be able to survive on that kind of stuff. You know, um, it's kind of weird me saying this, but I never get sick. I feel like I could pretty much eat anything. but I probably can't. So I'll just let this red-tailed hawk do the eating. All right. Um, one more thing. I plan on going everywhere with this red-tailed hawk. This is my pet right here. I'm gonna hold this. Oh, I wasn't wearing my gloves. Uh-oh, that's not good. Um, these gloves are actually giving me an itch for some reason, so I don't know how this is going to work out. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out. Um, oh, by the way, um, one reason why I probably couldn't become a falconer is because I can't whistle. I've been seeing some videos of falconers whistling to their red-tailed hawks. They make that... <laughs> See, I can't do it. I can't whistle at all. So how do you call a red-tailed hawk if you can't whistle? I want to talk in complete sentences to a hawk. Can I not do that? By the way, there's this video on my favorites page called The Professional Eagle Hunter. I highly recommend that you watch that. That red-tailed hawk will fly on command. When he says to fly and stop flying, He'll do both of those commands. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so I want to train my red-tailed hawk to do all of those things. So like I said, when I go falconry hunting, or I'm sorry, when I go hunting with my red-tailed hawk right here, 
I'm going to bring my lunch with me and all I'm going to do when I'm done hunting, if I have hunted successfully, is I'm going to eat the lunch that I've hunted it as well. <laughs> Strangely.